Hello everyone, welcome back to the dashboard. My name is Sandeep. Today I am going to show you a very simple yet very powerful functionality in Power BI. Even if you are a beginner, you can create very good dashboard using this functionality. This is a AI like functionality. You ask questions in very simple language and it will do the work for you. Let's dive in how you can use this functionality. All right. Let's go to the Power BI desktop and load the defect report sheet that I have created to collect the defect reported by each team. In this table, we have when this defect has been created, what is the issue type? Issue type is nothing but the whether it is a defect, invalid defect, or it is a change request. Now we have the defect ID, team names, which sprint the defect has been reported, what is the severity, defect close date, when, who has closed this defect and who has reported this defect. So these are the sample data that I have created to collect the defect metrics. Let's load this one to the Power BI. Now I want to show you the Q&A functionality. This comes under visualization. If you see little below here, Q&A, click on this one and a chat box will be open for you. If you have used something similar to chat GPT or DeepSeek, you will know that how to ask questions and it will give you your desired output. How many total defect or that is coming under issue type column so that it is showing you some suggestion how many total defect which is coming under issue type let me ask this one under issue type it will show how many total defect has been reported if i ask the another question like how many invalid issue type has been reported so it will say total invalid issue type are 14. Now, if I want to convert this into our visualization, you can click here. There is one option. It shows turn this Q&A result into a standard visual. So, if you click on this one, it will create a card for you that gives the total number of invalid defect. Okay. You can rename it from here in the field count of invalid defects now our card is ready now let me ask another simple question to q and a and this time i will ask it to create a column chart create a column chart for count of defect that is sought by reported by okay because reported by is my column for who has reported that defect and it will show you the total def defect that has been reported by different QA member let's click on this one and turn into standard visuals now after this you can do your formatting to change the color and all now let's show you one more example okay now if you want to quickly add another q and a option you can just press control plus forward slash let me press control and forward slash and your another q and a option will be open okay let me ask like top three reporter Sorry, top three reporter. And I want to sort it by count of defect ID. Okay. Now it did not understand what is this reporter means. Now click on this one. It will ask you, we are not sure what you mean. Try another term because it does not understand what is that reporter means or define reporter. Now click on this one.
now you have to it is asking to define the reporter it has gone to the setting option and you can define the reporter refers to what i have to write my column name reported by now you can see the result here preview top three reporter it is showing it here okay now if you will save this option it will save this reporter means reported by it will save this meaning of this term and close this one and your data is ready here okay turn this into standard visual now you got the top three reporter if you want to change the title and all you can go to the visualization and you can change the title of here count of defect id instead of that i want to write top three defect reporter so my another visualization is ready now let me ask another question to create a table for bug count by and you want to sort it by team name but it did not understood the bug now let me define the bug again bug means defect okay now your table is ready for total bug count reported by team name change this into the visualization so basically it is a chat gpt kind of function whatever you don't understand you can directly type your question here and it will be give you the output this q and a feature is very easy to use you can use it anytime and if you want to train your power bi next time it will not ask the same for example if you have defined bug means defect bug equal to defect so it will you can go to the settings and you can type the synonyms or you can ask let's say create a pie chart All right, you can explore the Q&A feature. If you find any difficulty, don't forget to ask your question in the comment box and I will respond to that. This was about Q&A functionality in Power BI. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you get notified in my next video. Thanks for watching.